Well, that was a hell of an effort by St. Mary's. Certainly, they were prepared to play and make a statement about their team. And had a ton of respect for them coming into the game, just watching film, getting ready for the game. And they uh, they were you know, more impressive in person. And uh, his point guard was phenomenal. You know, everyone saw it. Uh, everywhere, guys were training shots. They played off him very well. Was, you know, they uh, they were outstanding. Um, and we weren't, so it's really all I got on that. Question? Bobby, just the first several minutes of the game with um, St. Mary's actions and, and Ford shots, what did you think about that whole sequence that led to the 20-0 run? You know, it's just, uh, you know, we didn't get, we didn't, couldn't establish Mellow early, although we shot too quick early in the game without moving the ball at all, so can't really afford to do that. They had a different plan they were going to you know utilize each other and make each other better and we, we really didn't do that um, so yeah I mean it wasn't not many you know bright spots um, I got to do a better job I got to have my team ready to play that's the bottom line I can't uh, you, know, you lose this decisively then, then it's on me to make sure we're practicing better prepare better and, and ready to play right here. obviously they're really good offensively Bobby but just defensively what was what, what upset you most just about how you guys played on that end? Yeah, I mean, I knew that they were going to put pressure on us, um, and, and you, you just hope that you know with our with our on the ball defense that we would have done a little bit of better job with Ford early in the game. And once he got going the way he was going early, like everything else started opening up. And they have other guys that if you're if you don't get to them, you can shoot. They could drive it, you know, really uh, fits, was, was a handful. Uh, I don't know what he finished with. Yeah, yeah, um, so yeah, it was, I mean, they're, they're a very, uh, very good offensive team. I, I, I said this coming in is, you know, even my team two years ago, just from a shooting, sheer shooting standpoint, you know, we had some guys that could, could let it go from three and, and uh, Cody was around 45%. And Justice, really good shooter. And their team was coming into the game shoot 47 and that's usually you might have like one guy or two guys in your roster that could shoot that well from three they do it collectively okay. uh, your guards were over 14 uh, over 14 from the field was there something that st mary's was now you're doing? talking about minus burge right right <laughs> you see the guard too the two guy okay the two guys that we've seen consist consistently do it was there something that st mary's was doing defensively or was it just them not having a good night yeah, I thought Remy was pressing a little bit early in the game, maybe trying to get himself going, and, and uh, so he, he dug up a little bit of a hole for himself offensively, and uh, I thought, you know, again, we didn't move the ball well enough, and, and we over-dribbled, and um, that was a part of it. I'd have to watch, I, I guess you're talking about Rob, too? Rob and Remy. Yeah, so, I mean, Rob had some, some, I thought, some decent looks, and just not making any of them. With the looks, Romello was getting re-surprised how much he was trying to do. I knew that they would they would be physical and, and focus on him. And, uh, I thought we missed him sometimes, actually, too, early. Uh, he, anytime he's got his man on his back, the ball should go into him. And there were a couple of times, I think Jalen House went in there and airballed a layup one time, and I thought Romello was open. Uh, and Kamani airballed one from the left corner, and, and Romello had his man on his back again on the left block. So. You know, if you're struggling out there, you gotta you gotta get him the ball and get him make sure he gets the touches. Any other questions? Bobby, is uh, Verge's performance is that like silver lining? Is it something that you think can? I mean, he's been kind of trending this way. What do you think about what he did in the in the bigger perspective? He was just one of the few guys that, that had a rhythm on offense and, and once. Once he got going, we, we knew we had to keep riding him and just give him the ball just about every time down the court. So that was frustrating that, that you have that will of guys playing well that you have to re resort to that tactic. But that's where we were at. But the irony of it, he, uh, he's he been practicing well. You know, he shows up in practice, doesn't miss practice. He's, he's working at it and, you know, he's, he's getting better. It's But this will go down in the record books too for a guy that scored 43 points yet had a minus 38 uh, point differential. I mean, it's, it's like absurd to, uh, to see that. So, uh, so. Thank you. Thank you.
lot of crazy things happen.